Hey YouTube, what is up? This is Brian Easy, just coming back to you guys today with a uh, sort of like a how-to on how to fix static on your computer or on your recordings. So basically guys, I had a long adventure and over the last few days and I tried to, you know, someone commented in my videos, oh you got, you know, some bad static and I was like, I listened to it, I was like, yeah, that is a pretty bad. So I set out on this epic journey to figure out why this static was causing, you know, what? why was this static coming and what, what's causing it and all these sort of questions. I did all this research, Google went through everything, tried everything and I'm finally coming out to you guys today with a little guide, I guess. So if you've got static problems and you want to get the most out of your onboard sound and your headset, then this guide is for you guys. So let's get into it anyway. First, first things first guys, recording, okay, so look here, I've disabled and devices. I uh, go to go to your devices and I've disabled every device that I'm not using. I even unplugged the front audio ports off the motherboard, okay? So then that's the first thing I did. All those are disabled, even the speakers, the Realtek digital output is disabled as I'm not using that at the moment. Now, let's go in. That's that's the first step. Disconnect all the stuff you're not using and disable it. Next thing I did, guys, go into properties and we're going to go to levels and now we're going to turn this all the way down to 15 that's right 15 guys because you know you can edit and I guess not edit but you know this will give you the nicest sort of true voice expressions and all that without sort of giving you too much noise so I did, this is the settings that I've found work the best and as you can see here you've got 15 and plus 30 decibels so that'll give you you know that'll make your mic hearable so people can hear you or audible and here we go to enhancements uh, disable all effects guys bang disabled so I don't want any of these effects I don't want I know noise suppression does work good but I found it made my voice uh, I couldn't express any words or I couldn't express you couldn't hear any emphasis in my voice so I didn't like that setting and that's this is why I'm set out to do all this you know reduce static thing so disable all sound effects I don't like them and here I've got my default format, 2 channel, 16 bit, uh, 48 kilohertz. And now I'm on a ALC898, guys. The, the audio codec on my Z77 Extreme 4 motherboard is an ALC898. Now, I don't know for some reason, I it says it's at 24 bit. I can't see that. Uh, I noticed if I switch the drivers to Intel high definition drivers, then it does display 24 bit. But I'd rather use the Realtek high definition drivers. That's uh, that's something else for another day. But anyway, that's the first setting I've done. The levels, guys, bang. That was an, that's the second step I've done. Now the third step is actually probably an interesting one. You guys might be a little bit surprised by this, but I did find it made a difference. If we go to speakers here, guys, we will notice that I've dropped it all the way down to one, one percent. Yes, so all the way from a hundred to one. Now, what this does is, guys, it basically, I guess, if you drop it, I found if I dropped it all the way to zero, it'll actually cut my whole sound card off, and I don't want to do that while I'm recording, right? So, the, I guess what I did was, I dropped that down to one, and I noticed that gave me less noise, so it kind of did a pretty good job there. Now, let's get on to the next part, which is... The yeah, so that's that part done. I dropped that down to one. Now, obviously, guys, if you're doing commentaries, this is probably not going to be a problem for you. And if you are doing, but if you are doing live streams and you're playing video games while you're recording, you will want that audio. So you may wish to plug the front uh, speaker port in and use that front speaker port whilst you're using the rear uh, mic in or microphone input or mic input for your microphone. So that was that guys. So that was an interesting one that I noticed did make a little bit of a difference. So I dropped that down to one and I'm guessing because of this headset, this cord here, if you can see here, this cord has both the mic and the speaker wire integrated into the same cord inside. So if you, you know, if you've got the amp boost up there coming into the speakers, it's probably going to cause noise to the microphone inputs in such thin wires. That's just my theory anyway. I don't know if it's true, but it did make a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to teach you guys. Anyway, the next step, guys, is here. 704, picture 704 that I just got off my Digicam. I moved, this is for a hardware thing, so I'm just going to quickly show you on the desktop what I did. I took my graphics card, which is a GDX 670, and as you can see here, this is where the onboard audio is, I'm pretty sure. And it's located right next to where my graphics card used to be. 
So this is a full-sized ATX motherboard, guys, and I drop this down from here to here, to the other PCI Express 3 port. And basically, they're both 16-speed uh, ports, so it doesn't make a difference at all. And obviously, if you're on a micro ATX board, you cannot do this. Basically, that a micro ATX board is a board with only one of these slots, graphics slots. So, if you have a full form uh, ATX motherboard, then please, by all means, do this as well, and it may help. So that's the fourth step I did. Fifth step. This was actually an interesting one. I took my computer off the ground and put it on a little table. For some reason, it may make a difference, but yeah, it guess all the static on the carpet is not going to interfere at all with any of my audio anymore and I found this made a little difference as well all these little things make these little differences that all add to the final difference you know, they all add to the final you know overall end product sort of thing so the end result so that's those two things that I did guys and now the last part is going to be obviously a quick I'm going to show you guys I grounded my power supply unit, which I didn't do before, because in Japan, I've, I've got a good excuse, you know, because in Japan, if you see here, this is the basically the power plug that goes into your power supply unit, and as you can see, it's just got two prongs, and it's got this little annoying earth. You've got to manually screw it down to something, and it's so short that you can't, you know, you've got no distance. So what I did was I actually had to make a long cable and ground it to my window frame seal, which is steel, and hopefully that gives me, you know, it gives me a decent grounding effect. But, you know, I'd love to have an extra prong, which we do. I'm Australian, so in Australia, they have the extra prong, which is the grounding prong, which is great. But anyway, that's unfortunate about the Japanese uh, earthing prong. So that was, you know. And lastly, obviously, is the mini jacks. I grounded them as well. So I took them out of my computer and whacked them on the metal steel frame. And I actually put them on the car. You know, just to ground them. I wanted to get rid of them. Get rid of all the grounding, I mean. Uh, get rid of all the static inside. So I grounded those. And see, as you can see here, they're mini jacks. So they're eighth of an inch big on both ends. So they're just, the, you know, basically the smallest ones you can get. You've got the stereo jack, mini jack, and then you've got the XLR. So this is my Razer Car Chaos, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, this is my headphones, guys, and they've got the mini jacks. I don't know if USB makes a difference. I haven't tried it yet. Some people say USB makes a uh, night and day difference in terms of noise. I don't know, but, you know, all these things that I've done have made a difference. So anyway, if you guys have found your way to this video and you are basically wanting to reduce your static, then you can try all these things and let me know how you go. And the last thing that I did, guys, was, I'm going to type it in caps, updated my uh, audio drivers. So I updated my Realtek drivers for my onboard sound. And that was the last thing I did. So anyway, guys, uh, if you've got any questions, please let me know, guys. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe if this has helped you, as I do like to help people. And, you know, save you guys time, you know, because I, I couldn't find a whole guide out there like this, so I figured I'd just wise will make one. And next month, I'm going to be giving away a little desktop YouTube microphone set. It's a Sony microphone set, and I'm going to review it. I haven't actually got it yet, but hopefully it gets here soon because I want to get it done for my December giveaway. So, anyway, guys, uh, peace out for now. Brian Easy. Bye.